The following Wicked Turtle Network presentation has strong language and strong content. Viewer discretion is advised. I know you're out there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. What up, peeps? What up, peeps? It's your boy, the penguin. And on the mic tonight, I got a man who wished he took the blue pill. The dude. What's up, everybody? What All is right. going on? Last show of the of the season. Not the season ending of, of What Up Peeps, but the not last yet. show of uh 2021, which is great. I hope you all um, had a safe and happy holidays here and I know yeah, I did. We'll get into that. We'll, we will yes, get into that. Um definitely last show. I mean we do have some shows that are coming back. For, I mean just till the end of the year we have like, right, the, dive right, will, right. the dive will be tomorrow. This is filmed. We're filming this on a Tuesday. This will be out Wednesday, which is today, and then the dive will be tomorrow. Check out the dive. It's probably the, what the last show of the dive till 2022. Yeah. Definitely, it is actually. Yep, we were talking about big things earlier off cam, which is going to be great for Wicked Turtle and great for oh, the dive. Yeah. So, can't wait for you guys to hear that. We're excited. We're excited. But uh, let's uh, let's let's get her started. Let's pay some bills here. Let's uh, talk about some Raise energy drinks. I know I haven't really drank any Raise in a while, so I got one. Me. Do you have one? You have yes, one pot? Sir. Oh, that's that insider pot. shit, isn't it? Uh, you know it. I'm not allowed to show it. <laughs> you know it, but you're not allowed to show it. That's a good one. He's popping it right now. Why he pops his rays? Uh, let's uh, let's get with the sponsorship here. Wicked Turtle has joined the hashtag Rays Rebellion with Rays Energy Drinks. Rays Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Rays has zero sugars with electrolytes and BCAA aminos. So hashtag raise up and go to raise your local up. GNC or vitamin shop and pick up a can today. And if you can't do that and you can't find it where you're at, you can always go to repsports.com, buy your order in bulk, and at the checkout, use promo code Wicked Turtle for 15% off your order. And that'll be in the description of this cast. I, I know we've talked about this flavor before. This is the, uh, I think it's the mocha um, mint, chocolate mint. Which I'm pretty sure that's the holiday one. Yeah, there's the holiday one. Has but to boy, be. when I when I poured that, you, it smells like straight chocolate. Like, I'm, I kind of want to get it because you keep talking about it. Like, I kind of want to get it. But the, I, I've, had oh, cho I've had chocolate drinks with with carbonation in it, and it's weird. It's just weird for me. Yeah, this so. is kind of like um, the Rockstar with that was made with the uh, tea, the green tea. This is kind of okay. like that, but I have never tasted chocolate in an energy drink like this. Like it literally tastes like milk, milk chocolate. I did with that bang, that bang I had. That I, that I texted you. Um, that had chocolate. Oh, that, that chocolate like a, one. That was like a chocolatey one, but it was it was weird. It was weird. You get really your mint was. hint here, but it, there's an undeniable chocolate taste there. It's literally yeah. like a milk chocolate freaking energy drink. It's weird. So uh, while we're talking about Rays, they're talking about the best flavors, limited time flavors for Yeah, Rays. I'm excited for this. I've had all of them except for 
the strawberry lemonade, which me and the Duke said to each other, we just heard about that, that now. Right? <laughs> you know? So, they must but have I, at the beginning of the year. I do have white peach, which is a contender. White peach um, look real good. I do have the berries and cream, another contender. Ooh. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the Skittles one slash rainbow. <laughs> and, of course, the Duke's favorite, Frankensour. Yeah, that's my that's my pick. That's I know I pick? haven't had a, a lot of the flavors, but oh, oh man. man, berries and cream was just really really good. Um, peach peach was I'll tell you what if, if if I had to be like really really critical, peach tasted like you were eating a peach. So wow, it was very refreshing. Um, oh, the other one was the, the there's two other ones too that are on the list: juice box, juice box, and the strawberry lemonade, which. I never got either of them. That's another but, uh, thing about you know with Ray's that it does offer hydration. Like it, it's no BS. Like the other stuff will like literally dry your mouth out. I don't yeah. get that ex when I experience or when crash. I do Ray's. Yeah, <laughs> which we saw that on air. You actually crashed on something that was like, oh man, I should have drank my Ray's. <laughs> I did believe I almost fell asleep. I, I I don't know. I guess I'm gonna pick. You know, and, and I still haven't got another queso, which I should have. But I really do like the white peach and the berries and cream. But those are my two favorites. The Frankensour was good because it tasted like a, a melon. But I don't know if I could handle that all the time. You know? Yeah, I feel. And of course, so, well, to me, it tasted like the uh, the little candies they would give out to Chinese restaurant. Like those little, like, I think they're like honeydew. Yeah, and the rainbow's good too. It, it's not bad. It, it definitely gets my favorite can. I think the can looks cool. Yeah. You know the rainbow is it's good. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's you're just it's, you're tasting the rainbow. Well, for favorite can, no I'd have to go voodoo. That voodoo can was awesome. Yeah, that was cool. I don't have that. I have I I drank that, but that's one before I started collecting the cans. I finally mm -hmm. yeah, pitched it. Uh, but my all time favorite for rays is the great bubble gum. I love that. Yeah, I'm soon to get a case of that. That's my all time my favorite. Big league chew. Shit, yeah. But yeah. Um no, Christmas. How, how was your Christmas, dog? How uh, yeah, Christmas was pretty good. We went to my cool? sisters. Um I got some clothes. There you go. Uh, got a PlayStation hoodie that's just like this. That's cool. Um that's cool. I have one of my gifts. Um I upgraded the computer. We're we are fully shit. upgraded now. Uh well I'm not fully upgraded. I could add more if I wanted to. This computer goes up to 128 internal oh, damn. 120 gigs internally. It's it's a power beast, it really is. Uh, but we we really we have a punch now for Wicked Turtle. It's definitely a nice punch. Yeah, that we can do. I mean, I, I worked on a couple Monday Madness and the dive, and I worked on dive last night, and I was done within 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 like a half hour. That's Usually awesome. Man. When I do when I do videos, well, this this one here, this here takes a couple bit. It takes a little bit because it takes a while to render. It has to go through the system render render properly. Right, right. You know, if you add any type of graphics to it or whatever, it that takes a while. But um, yeah, this but it worked fine. Like it's been really, really good. It's really fast, and when it comes to rendering and stuff, I still have some slow things here, the, here and there. But that's also that's the machine itself. Right, right. But uh, I have one of my gifts here. Um, uh, my wife since I've since I've been in, into smoking the old meats. Uh, she got me a wireless uh, meat thermometer. Ooh, you need that. Definitely need yeah, that. Yeah, definitely got one of those, which is cool. Uh, some friends of mine got me a rack to throw in my smoker to have nice. smoked veggies, Ooh. which is cool. Um, I guess all my friends are trying to hint at me that they want smoked meats. I guess that's what it is. And some cheese, too. Yeah. Oh, I got a new Eagle. So I, I should have brought that up. I, I got a new Eagle hoodie for my wife, which was nice, nice. If anybody knows me, I'm I'm a sucker for a hoodie. I love hoodies. That's my thing. You know, when I go outside, even when it's like freezing cold outside, I have a hoodie. Oh, me know. too. I'm a hoodie guy. So, but uh, I used to have this Eagles hoodie. Um, I still wear it. It's gr it's gray, but it's 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 like a four X, dude. And, and you, you know, oh you, yeah, dude. You've lived that that fat life, so you know that having those nice loose clothes feels great. So that sucker was like a 4X, and I'm like, yes, yes. And then my wife bought me a 4X because it's hard to find big yeah, they, dude sizes in stores, bro. It is. Like, especially apparel stuff. Yeah, this is the hoodie I wear most of the time. And uh, I think this is like a yeah. 3, 4X. But I know that when I was big, I stretched that some bitch out, too. 
even if I lost weight, I would probably still wear big dude hoodies just because I, I do like too. that. I do. I like that comfort. The you baggy, know? and then you're free to put like a thermal shirt, long sleeve shirt underneath of it, and then you're not like super confined. A big slam and some cheeseburgers when you go in a movie theater. Hell's yeah. <laughs> pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. We're going to go see Spider Man again soon. So. Oh, you did? I just watched the oh. cam of it. <laughs> I'm going to probably, on my birthday, I'd like to. Yo, but, some um, of the cams are pretty good. I watched the, I, the cam I just saw on the website that you would recommend for me. Um, that was actually really good. That was actually yeah. bad. So, it's actually a pretty decent cam. I was really impressed with it. Yeah, I mean, I it had some blur of... moments, but other than that, it was really good. Yeah, and I found another website, too. So oh. I said nice. that I went after, after nice. the, uh, the live. I'm, like, I'm liking this stuff. But, oh, uh, yeah. My buddy, you know, he's basically a neo. He was like, he hit me up. He'd seen me talking about what the hell was I even talking about? Oh, Matrix Resurrections. He's like, Ooh, here's this website you can watch it. I'm like, dude, that's awesome, but I have HBO Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can watch it in high def now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I'm I'm seeing that lately. That a lot of um. They're going back the old ways. It sucks. It just sucks. Yeah. I'm seeing that a lot. Like, they're going back to the old ways of, hey, let's get back to the movie theaters and stuff like that. But I, yeah. I I really want, when it comes to the world of movies and, and that, to embrace streaming. Like, mm -hmm. give me the option to rent that movie at home if I wanted to. Yeah, but not you know? at 50 bucks. That's ridiculous. No, no. There's got to be a middle $20. Ground. Yeah, I know that. Twenty. I'd be perfectly fine spending $20 on a movie to sit at home, no matter what streaming platform it is. That, that'd be perfect. For how much? 20 Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't and know. then you Maybe own the movie and, after that. Between 10 and 20 That's what Disney Plus did. Disney Plus did the thing where... Uh, they did that thing where the premiere or whatever, but it was like mm -hmm. you paid 20 and then once it came to streaming, you owned it. It was yours. Right. Was like, so that was kind of cool. Like you owned it. Like you, 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 what you were able to watch it early, but I like how like, say for instance, like the Comcast model where, you know, you pay five, five ninety nine to rent a movie or like yeah. uh, Voodoo where you pay like five ninety nine or six bucks or whatever. I'd even hell. I'd even pay ten dollars if you want yeah, to just, just put to it up it. there between you know ten and twenty bucks. You know, if it's twenty bucks, let us watch it three times, two times at least. Yeah, uh, yeah. And give me twenty four hours. Hour. Give me twenty four to forty eight hours. That's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could have t I could totally call up my friends here and and say, hey, listen, yo, I just got that new Matrix Revolutions or whatever. <laughs> I just got that right, new Matrix right. movie. Come on over, you know, we'll have like a little party, get some wings, whatever, you know, and yeah. boom, you know, that's, that's so much better than going out to an untrusted place, uh, that I don't know if they have good cleaning regiment, for instance, I don't know if they clean their, their seats after every show, you know, well, it's like, like some movie theaters are playing AEW pay-per-views and it's like, yeah, we were not around about here, that. unfortunately, but... that's actually kind of cool. I do like, I, that was actually in Reading that, that I have. I, I tell you, the, one of the coolest experiences I had watching a pay-per-view event was watching uh, the Royal Rumble up at the H2O Training Center in Jersey. And, you know, just watching a pay-per-view with other rabid fans, like people who are going to pop for watching TV, you know what I'm saying? We obviously, we all just watched a death match. But these people were like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a bunch of it's wrestling fun. fans. It's, it's a bunch fun. of wrestling fans. It was so cool. It's fun. And it was, a little bit of drink going on, so there was a buzz going, and yeah, you know, I that, mean, shit, man, that was so much fun. That's cool. That, I mean, I, I like having like little parties like that. Yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I haven't done that shit since I was little. My, you know, with my uh, uncles and grandfather and cousins, we all get together and watch WrestleMania. The first time I ever did that, I remember we used to do that with um, me and Alex did that once. I remember we, yeah. we, were just, we were just becoming friends and stuff, and it was like one of our first experiences. And uh, we started chatting each other during WrestleMania. I think it was the one where uh, Seth Rollins cashed in. And we oh, was like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we were just sitting there talking. I was like, yo, this is awesome. Like, it's cool, you know. You know, like having like, a little chat group was kind of cool. And then, you know, like even like – because I usually watch all my pay-per-views or whatever by myself. It sucks. Yes, me too. Or yeah. oh, my son sometimes. My last year, my son joined me for the Royal Rumble, which was cool. 
he came in here and he, I have uh, some belts and stuff back there. He was like playing with the, my belts and stuff like some that. Some of the bigger, uh, some of the bigger WWE pay per views this year. I'd like to get us two on and uh, do some watch parties. Obviously, we're not going to show, you know what I mean, the WWE ass, but we're just going to show us watching it and reacting to it. But Which, I think that'd be fun. I think what's funny is we have it. Apple. Me and you both have Apple, and they have a SharePlay app on there. Oh, really? So, yeah. So if I wanted to, I could put on like Peacock, for instance, and we could throw on like the Rumble, and we could well, see, be on here go. on my computer here. We could do that. It's something we'd have to test out, though. But yeah, yeah, something. we could try it out for the next big one. Or I could just run a random one for me and you and see if it works. Yeah, we but could. Yeah, there we could literally put anything on and just. The test biggest it. Pro- The biggest issue is that we couldn't record. That's what sucks. Oh so shit! We wanted to record our how what we look like, unless we had OBS, which I don't. Yeah, I don't play around with those type of systems. Yeah. OBS is not cool. It's not a big. It's 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 a learning curve and it's kind of hard to do. This brain is too fried for all that shit. It's yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, it's a lot of bong water. It's over my head. Dude. <laughs> uh, speaking of, which, I, I tried. I tried. Speaking to of tech, it. did you see my video I put up of my car? Oh yeah, dude. And then that, playing the cool. light show, playing the light show. That shit was cool. I remember we got. I got it right on Christmas, and I'm. I, be, I was waiting on it because other people were starting to post about it throughout the world. So on my group chats. And I'm like, yo, when is this going to show up? And I was at my um, my in-laws, and it showed up there. And I was like, oh, cool. I got to go home and test this out. So as soon as I got right. home, I tested it out, man. It was it was so cool, man. I was like, this is so cool. That's I was awesome. like, this is awesome. Actually, no, wait. It came, my bad. It came Christmas Eve. That's when it came. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it came up Christmas Eve. I forgot about that. So that you can really uh, take your horn and customize it to any sound. I have like Cucaracha on there right now. Oh my god! Yeah, like the Grand Theft Auto <laughs> Online. But yeah, yeah, I heard I I, I seen somebody had put on their uh, the fuck your life, Bing Bong. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, is that real? Or no, that's a sound. That's definitely a TikTok sound. It's like no, that's his horn. I'm like, no way. So you mean he can just honk that out? Fuck your life, fuck your life, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Bing Bong. Could you imagine how many people you could piss off in traffic with that? <laughs> I mean, if someone was getting on your nerves, you could be like, Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Now you make me want to do that. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. Now you make me definitely want to do that now. That's hilarious. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Like That would be worse than the whistle tips. The whistle <laughs> tips go, woo. <laughs> That's I mean, an old school video, man. It's, I'll tell you right now, man, the Tesla is such a cool machine. It really it is. is. It literally uh, self drives too, or? Well, a lot of people ask that question about does it self drive? See, so, you now I don't have what they call full self driving on mm-hmm. here. Um, I have, um, it, it's more like an enhanced, uh, it's called autopilot, but it's more like an enhanced cruise control. Most cars have it now. Most new cars have something like that. Um, it does have full, a full self-driving computer in it, which if you pay the subscription price, which is like 200 bucks a month, which is a lot. Oh, geez. Um, it will. You could put in, I could say, uh, take me to the Duke's house, and it will do that. It'll back out of my driveway, back out, wow. and, and start taking you. But it, the, the system will be asking you to grab the wheel and make sure that you're still there. Or I, I see a, a TikTok of somebody who was eating some Chinese or some takeout or whatever. He's like, "This is really the reason I bought a Tesla." And he was in the, he was in the, you know, the the highway and he was, you know, driving down the highway. He he had this takeout in his hand, eating it. Like, really? Was, yeah. I was like, that's would crazy. they do that? That's the future, man. I what? remember back They'll in the day. Just, well, no, you still need to pay attention. Like, you have to pay. Like, I I can't do. Here's an example. Oh, it like, could have been a fake video, too. You know. Here's I mean? me, for instance. I can't go like out here to a royal road that I have, one of these back roads, and oh, throw no on that and throw that on there because it won't. It just won't. It'll do it, but it's you have to pay attention because it won't. Well, you probably work. end up in the river somewhere. You have to understand. It's, it's like a. It's like a. Um, 
like a camera is always viewing you. So it's checking mm -hmm. the road straight ahead in front of you. And say, for instance, what happens if you have a sharp turn that goes like this? It can't bounce around there to see what's coming around there. Right. It'll keep going straight, and that's how, like you said, it'll end up in the river. It'll be a Michael you Scott know? situation. Where yeah. Kind of... Like you said, it will end, we'll end up in the river. Yeah. So I'm trying to bring up. I have. I actually have the clip here I want to throw on here. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's just how it is. Like, I, I, I don't see when people people say that they do shit like that, and I'm like, how? Like, how do you do that? Because I've tried it, and I don't have full trust in it. My anxiety kicks in a lot with that car, to be honest. There's some times, just I'll give you an example. We were driving up to the mountains for um, where, we, where I used to live at to go to, for Christmas. It was yeah. me and, and li the little penguin, and all of a sudden the car started breaking real hard. And we're wow. like, whoa. And then we're on the turnpike, dude. This is a This is a highway you do not break like that. You know, right? All right. Well, here's the video. Let me throw it up for 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 everybody here. Here it is, guys. Check it out. Let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I wish you needed so much for the one Look, the truck went up. Look, the truck went up. Look. <laughs> what? I can't do it. I can't do it. Are you recording this? Yeah. All right, guys. That's that was, that was the cool. light show from the Tesla. But um, I mean, if, that if you're was listening, cool. you can listen to the music. But that was actually the and then my son in the background is so excited about it because yeah, he was. He gets so jacked when there's something cool with the with the Tesla. They just added a new game too in the update where uh, oh, they, they get. I have Sonic the Hedgehog in there now. Oh shit. Yeah, That'd be that's cool, pretty dude. cool. Um, there's a couple games that's really cool that people. Um, Cuphead is in there. I know you. Oh, really? I, you've had to see that from Microsoft. Uh, I've seen. I've seen Cuphead. Cuphead has that. Um, super some sort of buggy game. It's it's it's. I know it's a tablet game because my son has it on his tablet too. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I said Sonic. Um, oh, what's that? There's 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 just a lot. Um, the what you mentioned the one game you last week. Uh, Stardew Valley or Star? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on there. Um, there's a, oh, what is it? Is it Fallout Four type wow. game on there. Is it they um, got paddles and stuff, or, or are you just like a tablet, or? So you so okay for the buggy game, for instance. Like if you ride that, it, it's actually it, it's a skin game on top mm -hmm. of the game. So they have my Tesla on there, so I can drive my Tesla with the character. Wow. But you can actually, if you don't have a, because I have a controller, I have an Xbox controller in there. Right. But if you don't have a controller, you can actually use the steering wheel to drive that game. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's really, really cool. Um, Cuphead, you, you need, you definitely need, um, you definitely need like a like a an Xbox. Yeah, controller. you would need something. Um, they have some old school retro games too, like oh, Asteroids. Shit. Oh wow. Um, Pong. Um. A lot, of, a lot of the old school Atari games are on there too, like Centipede. So a lot of those retro old school things are on there. It's, it's do and and now that we have um, and what's cool is we have okay, so also on Tesla you have you have Netflix, mm -hmm. you have Hulu, you have Disney Plus, you have Twitch, you have YouTube, wow. and now they added TikTok. Wow, <laughs> dude. I was on TikTok in the car. I was like, "This is awesome!" Right? <laughs> you know? it, it's it, it's 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 definitely one of the coolest cars that you can buy. It definitely sounds a awesome. Lot of, there's a lot of haters. Super lot of hate, dude. Hate, 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 hate. I don't know why. There's so much hate. Not it stems from the government to just people. 
Like I had a, I was at a party the other night and with some friends and again, they, that, that it's a conversation starter. Everyone yeah. always comes up. Oh, you got the Tesla. Cool. You know? And, and then, and they're like, Oh, well I'll just stick to diesel. And I'm like, yeah, that, that, that's cool. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's, you know, right. That's cool. You know, but me, for instance, like I don't want to be on fossil fuels anymore. You know? Right. I believe it. I believe in Elon. There's only so much of it left, you know. Yeah, I don't want to be on fossil fuels anymore. I don't want to be, and believe me, I save a lot of money, a lot. Like I've had, for instance, I've like haven't even driven my car this week. My car's been sitting, but it for me to go up to the mountains. I went up the mountains and back. I had to stop the supercharger, which I was talking to some te- and Tesla people who own Teslas are really nice people. Nice. Um, we all talk to each other and stuff like that. We're sitting. I mean, you're sitting there for 20 minutes. I mean, right. Make friends. Tesla did a cool thing for the holidays. If you had a Tesla thing, so yeah, yeah. Tesla did um, free charging for Carlisle, Allentown. Um, wow. Carlisle, Allentown, Harrisburg, and on up your way. I think I think Williamsport was on there too. Wow. It was off peak. Which means it was like, how do I put it? Twelve a.m. No, it was ten a.m. It's not wave my my bad. Seven p.m. to ten to seven p.m. to ten a.m. And then that that's how it was for it, that that that's the holiday charging I did for just for Christmas, which was cool. That's pretty badass. So if you got there at seven o'clock, which I was under that, <laughs> I still had to pay, but it was free charging, which is cool. So there's just a lot of rumor and speculation from people that are saying that like <clears throat> it's probably not a good idea for people that live in the northeast, you know, like a quarter region for to get to Tesla's because their doors are freezing shut or it messes with their batteries and stuff like that. I have an app and, and on the app I hit defrost and it defrosts everything. Wow. It I don't even have to clean off snow. I it snowed here. All I did was Man, these people are must under estimating the the, the, the Amount of tech we've we have at our disposal. It's man. Un, it's it's it, the people who are hating on on, a, on EVs are just they're uneducated and just need to educate themselves. We now have if you would have asked me this five years ago, I would have said no, we can't do this. Right. But now with the technology we have and the the technology that Tesla, by the way, they license their shit out. Like wow. if somebody wants to come over and use their technology, they're more than welcome welcome to help. What's crazy is they really want to build. They don't even charge people uh, to use to 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 put up chargers. Wow! Like that charger at um, Sheets it's up your way. Mm-hmm. They put them in for free. They maintain them for free. It's up wow. to Sheets to add how much they want to charge for it. So usually the recommendation is forty eight cents per kilowatt. I have a 52 kilowatt battery pack, so do the math. It'll be like five to six bucks to fill it up from zero to 100. So, I mean, it's it's a future, and yeah, I mean, to compared to throwing thirty dollars or more into the tank, and Mercedes Benz already said they're not doing after 20. I think what 2023, they're not making gas cars anymore. It'll be all electric. electric. Wait till these. Wait till you see more models of vehicles as you know electric. Like oh, I can dude, send you I a video be, of this place. Be, this this uh these people that I that I follow. They're called Out of Spec Motoring. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're on YouTube and dude, they just went to Norway and their charging system in Norway is just absolutely amazing. And people, wow! Like every gas station has has a spot for an EV to pull up. Every gas station. Every gas station has a spot for an EV to pull up and charge if they need to. I think an electric Jeep would be fucking sweet. Dude, I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can do it. They already came out with a, a an electric um, gas extended range v- a Jeep. And it's it's it has a battery in it. It's wow. Like an EV. But when, it's just like the Chevy Volt. When it kicks off, it the, when you're done using the electricity... Mm-hmm. Boom! It kicks into a gas, so it's still like it's still not the technology you need to go to an actual Jeep, for instance, like you said. Right, they, right. They do have them out there. There are there are electric SUVs in the wild. Rivian has one that's out there. Ooh. Rivian has a truck 
that's out there. Ford is coming out with one next year. In 2022, they're coming out with their with their EV truck. Um, Tesla will have their EV truck in two years. Like they're gonna start production in 2022, um, mass production in 2023. So that's what I'm saying. So in the next couple of years, you're gonna start see. I mean, I for one, now that I bought a Tesla, I see more Teslas on the road. I see yeah. more EVs on the road. All right. Well, like I said, the wave is coming for EVs, and people just need to start getting ready for that. It, yeah, it's just, it's just gonna be a thing. That's all I'm yep, saying. It definitely is. It definitely it's gonna be a is. thing. Watch. You'll ride in a Tesla, and, you, and you'll be like, "Oh my gosh, this is awesome!" Like, yeah, I'm, cool. I'm definitely ready. Like That'd it's cool. it's really cool. To, for instance, like we st we stopped at like Sheets, for instance, and a lot of people's like, "Oh, well, you got to stop and charge." I'm like, "Yeah, but I was gonna stop anyways and probably take a leak anyways." You know, like, right. Like I, I'm at the age where you know my bladder needs it when it's it's gonna tell me hey it's time to stop you know yeah. we were hungry I was actually very thirsty at the time when we stopped for for me and my son so we stopped we got something to drink we was chilling like it was cool like we had a good time and yeah we weren't man, even like, there well, that long yeah we that's were there the 15 thing. minutes that's it when when you're there like when you're on a long trip you know what I mean not not just your average everyday hustle and bustle but when you're on a long trip. 15 20 minutes at a rest stop is usually the uh um, allotted time that you would have you know what I mean? unless you're super pressed for time obviously i'll tell you what i was when we went to florida we just relaxed it man like by the time i walked my first stop ever my first car supercharging i ever did in my tesla was like the best experience ever i walked literally walked up because i had to walk up it was a little bit far away to get to like a grocery store Mm -hmm. To walk to go to the bathroom from from where the supercharger was. By the time I walked up the grocery store, did my thing, maybe even got something to drink. You know, we checked out and got something. To, no, we went to Starbucks and got something to drink. By yeah. the time I came back, I got a notification on my phone and my we were ready to go. Done. Right. You know, the 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 stop I did this past weekend with my son at Sheets in Carlisle. We were there ten minutes, fifteen minutes tops. We were there a little it's bit longer because I was I was talking to the Tesla guys that are there. You know, the other Tesla right. owners over there. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah. I, just, I just, a lot of people bitch about that. Like, that's the biggest thing I get. I get oh, well, you got to sit there and 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 wait. Well, dude, I'm sitting there 15 The thing's minutes. got movies and video games built into it. Trust that, me, I'm not that. that I, I'm not I don't even use it. I don't even use it. By the time I get Netflix rolling on on the thing, it's time for me to go. Right. So, I, I, I unless that. I have to sit there like. To me, to be honest, me and you will probably might use it for our little trip. But other than that, right. I barely use the Netflix unless I'm taking, I'm going up to pick up my son and I got to wait a half hour. Then I'll pop in like some YouTube real quick, you know? Like it's not. I just play old school and just pump up the jams too, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's, yeah. I mean, there's that too. I didn't even talk about the music area. There's, there's Spotify. I, don't, I, want, I definitely, that's a key point for me. And if anything, I can connect to my phone and do almost anything on my phone. Yeah, see, that's another thing too. So I, I would like to have Apple CarPlay. That's one one of my dreams. Uh, thing that if I could say, hey Elon, if you ever watch our show, please add Apple CarPlay. I would like to that have would Apple be CarPlay cool. in there because I want access to ways. I want access to apps and stuff like that. So you know, yeah. but other than that, it's cool. Like, and it's dude, it's a beast. It's a beast. It's fast. I mean, you'll go 90 and not even know you're going 90. Wow. That's how fast it is. It's just fast. It's a fast vehicle. Um, the other thing that worries me is because we're in PA. You know, we're in PA. And you know, in Pennsylvania. And it yeah, the weather is very Snow dry. and, yeah, slick. Potholes. Oh, potholes. <laughs> they don't call it Potts Town for nothing. <laughs> That's right. Pennsylvania, the only place where, you know, you got to pay to be on a road. That isn't made for you know, I, I, I don't know. You might you gotta pay for your car to be on these roads that aren't even fit enough for a car to be on them. Like Yeah, like we pay taxes for these roads, they should be fixed. Yeah. Plain and simple. There's, there's a lot of potholes in Pennsylvania. It shouldn't go our tax money shouldn't be going in into the coffee fund. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I picture people like I I picture people who work for PennDOT. Well, I can't really say that because my cousin works for PennDOT. But I picture people who work for PennDOT half the time are, are, are in the call in the break room drinking coffee, yeah, you know, and, and not fixing potholes. <laughs> you know? Well, the sloppy seconds music has always said that you know 
There's three seasons in Pennsylvania. Winter, fall, and PennDOT. <laughs> so. I mean, the term, they do really well with the turnpike. The turnpike has gotten really good. And, and that's, yeah. to be honest, to get from the lower half of the state from east to west is like the best way to go. Um, I'm now realizing Interstate 80 up your way is actually one of the best places to go when it comes yeah. to going east and west. That's actually very fast moving. You know, but it. I have a Tesla in, in, in the northeast and it works. Like, it works. Like, so far we've been blessed with the snow. We haven't got that any snow, which thank yeah. You know, like, thank God, because I shut down when it comes to snow. Like, I don't really, uh, even when I had a gas car or front wheel drive, I still didn't drive in the snow. Yeah, know? that's another thing people were saying about, you know, well, the, if it doesn't drive well in the snow, it's like, well, it even does. if I had a gas vehicle, I really don't want to test it. You know what I mean? I don't. It does, though. The, the anti slip control, whatever they. Well, that's I'm, good. I'm not a car dude. Good, though. It yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. I can send you a video of, of a guy who has the same car as me. Mm-hmm. And he's dude. They dude's in like two and two to three inches of snow, and he it's he's not he's trying to do donuts, and it won't let him do donuts in it. And his wow. is rear wheel drive. So I mean, if I had to do it over again, if there's one thing I had to do over again, I would probably pop the extra money and do an extra hundred dollars a month and actually get the all wheel drive vehicle. Yeah, this way this way I'm safe. But I have winter tires on there, and you no, know, we're good. You know, yeah. It's fine. It, it, it works. It really does. It's a good car. It runs like any other car that you would. I'm telling you, you're gonna pop in and be like, "Yo, this feels like just a, like my mom's a regular Jeep. car." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this feels like a regular vehicle. Now, for for myself as being a big dude getting out of it, it's kind of rough. Um, it's okay, but that's yeah. just me because I have so many medical issues. But uh, when I have that truck, I can't wait. I can't wait for the truck. The truck is going to be so much great because yeah. I'll have a truck and it'll be great. Like I'll have a bed in it. You know. Cozy, My, yeah. Oh, another. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this too. We're talking about Christmas presents. Talk about the Tesla. This actually goes in with the Tesla. Um, my wife bought me a. If I wanted to, I probably could spend the night at your house if I wanted to. Oh shit! My wife bought me an air mattress for my Tesla. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I, I forgot about that. If Hell I wanted yeah. to, I could spend the night. There you go. Right outside your park in your part in your driveway. And you hear the dogs all night. <laughs> <laughs> They'll serenade you to sleep. Because you can turn the heat on and things. Like you it, that has a camp mode. You press a button for camp mode and you 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 say, you know, how warm you want the vehicle. That's cool. And dude. it'll keep you at one temperature the whole way. And it's it's cool. It is, it is really cool. The lights are nice and like of course you got dude, you can turn I've seen people camp in their Tesla turn on Netflix and be sitting there chilling, watching Netflix. Wow. Yeah. yeah I'm, people... I'm sure that they'll start making like everyday vehicles, coupes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? More affordable. Yeah. I mean, Tesla is, spo- is working on a, a hatchback from what I understand. From oh, what really? I know, it's supposed to be 22 to $25,000, which is affordable. People yeah. will be able to afford that. So, We'll see that here in the future, but we're talking about futuristic cars. Let's talk about the futuristic movie Hells that yeah. we watched. Um, you did a thing on Monday Madness, which was cool. Um, you watched yep. all the originals, which is funny. Last last night, we knocked out all of them, me and my wife. Good and shit. We started at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and ended at 12. No, I still haven't seen every the single Matrix. Matrix movie. And I'm pretty sure that the Animatrix is... The events that happen between one and two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and the video games have some of the story. Oh yeah, in yeah, too. yeah. Yeah. So it's those movies are good. Like they're some of the best movies. I like them. I know you didn't like them. I like them. But I, but I also, when I look at movies, I try to look at what's cinematic. Um, yeah. I try to look the visuals, you know, stuff like mm-hmm. that, and um. That bullet time was like the shit. That was cool. I mean, obviously, yeah. The influence that bullet time has had on t- movies and video games. How many video games can you name off the top of your head that have bullet time? Red Dead Redemption. Uh, t- have you ever played the, All, End of the Have you ever seen so the End of the Matrix video game? The one they just had. No, it's it's. it's oh yeah, Enter the Matrix and then the Path of Neo, the original. The Path of Neo. 
Yeah, Dude. I've played those games. They're really good. So great. So and great then, game. Then there's one they just put up. I, I can't play my Xbox One. It won't play on the machine. But um, and people are going raving crazy about. Is that this. that? Is that that Unreal Engine Five? Yeah, that it's like a just a, like a level, and it's like so in depth and immersive, and it's like wow, people are losing their minds over that. Oh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I have to say. I mean, I'm at the point when it comes to video games now, dude. That I, it's just a thing for my entertainment. It's not like a, it's not like life. Like today, I I logged on to Red Dead and to uh, um, GTA just so I could um. Just so I could get my gifts for the year, because those usually mm -hmm. I usually stretch those gifts out. But uh, they have the they have the new the new update for some sort of contracts, mm -hmm. and the thing that's pissing me off is I can't get it because it's like two million dollars to buy like the agency thing, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I'm good. <laughs> like I can't well, Rockstar that. itself will wear you out on video oh, games. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, man, Rockstar makes a buttload of money. They really do. They just yeah, people so are thinking money. they really need to make six. Like they don't need to make six because you want six. They don't need to make six. I would like to see uh, an online only Rockstar game where it integrates all the games. I think so, they're going to make Grand Theft Auto Online its own thing. Like I would like to be able to fly down, fly to Liberty City, yeah, or fly down to Vice City. You know, I think that would be cool. Or, I think or, that'll happen. I think they're going to take. Online, cool. the, the online, and I think they're going to completely expand that. But to, to, yeah, I mean, to, to keep it going, like, you want people to buy these shark cards and shit like that, make it its own thing. You know what I mean? That way we can have these real rich story driven games that we're used to. And then the people that want the online stuff, okay, then do that. that you know what I mean? I think Too many griefers in there for I me. I think a Rockstar right? subscription service would be badass. I'd pay fifteen bucks a month to have some. Oh, easily. Like that. As long as they have all the Manhunter games on it, absolutely. I mean, if you pay like, say, for instance, like twenty, like no, no, I'm talking about a subscription service for 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 online, for like Grand Theft oh. Auto Online. This way, it's sort of like a um, um, ESO, Elder oh, Scrolls, okay, okay. like Elder Scrolls Online. I think that's cool. Like, um, I thought that was very cool because you got perks. Like, say, for instance, like. Hey, if we'll give you when you log in once a month, you get a million dollars or some shit. You know? But they, they they really need to figure their shit out because for, for getting, twenty dollars you get, I think it's like there's hackers and stuff like that doxing people on the Grand Theft Auto Online. Like the um, somewhere near a gamer talks about it all the time. He's like, That's, I don't even play it because it's just unsafe to you know what I mean. I go on there and it's like, not only is it a bunch of griefers with flying motorbikes, it's like, it, it's just. Well, unsafe. that's that's what Red Dead is. Red Dead Online is actually better. Well, I don't know if you ever played on Red Dead Online. I've not. But Red Dead Online is way better than GTA Online when it comes to griefers mm -hmm. and stuff because they put them all they put all them griefers in their own little world. So if you if you report, say, okay, I got a griefer on me, he keeps fighting me, keeps shooting, mm -hmm. whatever. The algorithm in that in that online that they have will move it them into another room. Where it's just griefers, basically. Right. Well, it's supposed to have done that with online. It's supposed to be done that do that with online too. But you know what I mean. I, I think the one, fucking stupid motor flying motorbikes ruin the game. Ruin the I, online. I do. I do the hack where I don't. My hack is where I. 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 It's. It. It has to deal with your. Your. Your internet. You push down your internet speeds or whatever. I don't. I think. I don't think it's speeds. But you trick the game into what you're. Some so I, I can't I'm, again. I'm not a really tech dude. So, but so, but I it tricks the game. I know you, you said it's like eight fifty. I can show you how to do it. But you get your own online room, which is cool. Oh, they they patch that. No, I just saw it today. Saw it today. They, the DNS thing they patch that. You can't you can't make your own server anymore. I guarantee you that they've I done that months ago. I just did it today on your Xbox. Oh, my PlayStation. Oh yeah, because yeah. you used to be able to just test your DNS. And you would make a private lobby. Yeah. Like, it would literally kick everybody out. And, you know, that would be the only way to do your missions and, like, get on your, deliver your products and stuff like that with some, without some asshole in a freaking flying I love it. Being That's how I play it. Whole time. That's how I play it. I can That's have the only way you can play it. I actually have, um, I, I made my, I, I, I always made my own room. And then, like, say, friends like the Wob was on one time with me. And then I remember my cousin was on. And once we got up to three people, we started making double bank. 
You know what I'm saying? So right, you can invite your friends over. Out, you're also losing out on mess, uh, on bonuses for not having a full lobby. Some of the bonuses are not that not that great. Like yeah, I, I, but I, I, I it's their life. job to make the game. You know what I mean? I shouldn't have to fucking hack the shit just to make the game pleasant or enjoyable. I agree. I, agree. I shouldn't have to do that. They well. should make it more enjoyable and more pleasant for everybody to play it. Like I said, they, they put them stupid fucking flying bikes on here. They ruined it. Well, that's why. That's why we're, we're taking the blue pill right now. That's right. <laughs> Let's get let's get into the Matrix. We watched that was it Matrix? What was the what was the name of this one? Matrix Resurrections. Res- right? Resurrections. There yeah, yeah, go. yeah. There's so many res- revolutions. I actually have a lot of notes on it. So look at you. Yeah. Look at that old school Stevens coming out. Yes, right. I love it. Go ahead. Go over your notes, dog. Well, what anyway, this, this movie? the Resurrections. Um, this is kind of like everything old is new again. Kind of. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, you're gonna have to go over there. I just have some notes on the characters and stuff like that. Let's start with Neo. Yeah, well, Neo, the one. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, technically, we can't call him the one in this one. Oh yeah, that's right. He uh, he has him. He has the powers, which is the same. Uh, he doesn't look the same. Um, the, right. This let's let's rewind a second. This movie actually did answer a lot of questions that a lot of us uh, fanboys like myself, who, who's watched the movie multiple times, mm-hmm. the, the trilogies and all that, like, and then have the question of they're doing a Matrix Four. How do you do a Matrix Four? They answered that question real well in this. I thought. Um, yeah. By. Spent, I guess he's. I guess the 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 new architect um, spent credits or whatever and was able to resurrect them from the dead and yeah. give him his eyes back and, and it was cool how how he explained it. Neil Patrick Harris explained it, which I thought was really cool. I thought you know, and, and to be honest, I I picked him out of the litter to be the architect and basically yeah. the baddie. You know, um, because he had the blue glasses on. And mm-hmm. dude, I, I love that song. One pill. Like that song. Oh, I, yeah. That I, I love one. that song. Like that. I just, I, I, that's one of my favorites. Um, because they use that in Sopranos. When, if you ever watch the Sopranos TV show, that, that was mm-hmm. in the Sopranos TV show. It's a pretty old song. But um, perfect for those scenes where he was taking those blue pills and stuff like that. Yeah. They're really drugging him. To suppress his mind, and my theory, yeah, he was basically had a thought in his head that he was a video game designer, and the whole Matrix was a video game. Well, that was the Matrix telling him what he needed to do. Right. Um, I think, for instance, I, I mean, I'm putting throwing up a lot of quotations because that's basically what the this this version of the Matrix, which by the way was a kind of cool version of the Matrix. I like. Yeah. It. For sure. Um, um, my thing is what what after rewatching it the other night, I realized. Uh, some things about this movie, like they, this was a way to. I, I think the reason why that did not work with uh-huh. Neo and with Trinity is because they were woken up and put back in. Like they experienced a lot of traumatic things and memories and things that were revolutionary for their, their Time, human yeah. kind. Yeah, that they. They're powerful um, memories that just they couldn't suppress with just a pill, you know. Right. Yeah, you know? and it, it worked on some of them because you know it was it was cool how you seen that where you saw someone when they unplugged Neo who's been taking those blue pills forever basically them drain out his mind. Because um, you got to remember the Matrix when you start off in the Matrix you start off as a baby for instance, mm-hmm. right? And you're fed that this is your reality for. Your whole life. And then when they wake up Neo, and he's like a full-fledged adult, he has to go through another reality. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's their... Right. their I just think, I, look, I got my dog barking in the background now. Yeah. They always like to talk. Yeah. Uh, um, I think Keanu Reeves was just trying to suppress the fact that he was in Cyberpunk 2077. 
<laughs> trying to forget that shit. I mean, uh, he's I like, mean, wait, am I Neo in this or am I Johnny Silverhand? The look that they had for him here, it was like, man, why do they have John Wick in in, in the yeah in the Matrix? <laughs> well, it, you could you could draw. I mean, uh, in Cyberpunk, you know, you you can look at Cyberpunk at twenty seventy seven as a failed game launch. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, Cyberpunk has been around for a grip a long time. Uh, the first edition of the board game came out in 1988. Um, you know, we're talking about the board game made by Mike Pondsmith. So, you, this has been around, that's been around longer than The Matrix. And it's, they, they got a lot of different comparisons, like uh, Bugs the Hacker, Bugs Bunny. There's a Bugs in Cyberpunk 2077 who's a hacker. And then, um... What was I gonna say? Like the loopers, where they can go back and like, I don't know how how to say this. Like where they were like review stuff that people have seen and like edit over it. That that was a big thing of like cyberpunk. And um, excuse me, yeah. Um, so it's like you know, like there's this mission where this guy got robbed. The, the, the convenience store got robbed. Like. But you can go into this memory and like do video editing to it, but figure out like what was going on here, like a murder mystery type of thing. And it was, you know, you could see that in the Matrix where they were doing that with the, you know, the he would go back and edit, um, like where they were watching that as, for example, like the first Matrix, and they were making it seem like it was a video game. You yeah. know what I mean, that's what I'm t talking about. <laughs> yeah, they. I mean, the way they, they came back and saw some of those old scenes and stuff, the the, the character of Morpheus. Yeah, that's another. Morpheus was not Lawrence Fishburne, Fish, Fishburne in this one. Morpheus was somebody completely different. Uh, that's because Morpheus passed away, but Morpheus still stayed alive because he was in the Matrix game that Thomas Anderson created. Right, so, so. he was kind of like a vision, basically. Yeah, he was in the Matrix. His code was in the Matrix. But yeah, the the actor Yana Abdul um, Mahin played it. He was in Aquaman. He was in the Watchman series. The, the Baywatch with the Rock. He was in the uh, the new Candyman, Furiosa, and Black Mirror, and the Greatest Showman. Hmm. So that's where he was from. I didn't real. I didn't uh, see a lot of those movies. So he was a new one for me. And watching back, Morpheus was one of my standouts from the Matrix. Lawrence Fishburne, Lawrence yeah. Fishburne really killed that. He really did. Yeah. Um, I I like the opening scene. For instance, the opening scene was technically not the Matrix, but it was Matrix esque. Right. Um, it, it was a training simulation for the agents. The how they upgrade them and train them. Wow. Yeah. That's what that was. Um. There's like I said, there was a lot of stuff in here that answered a lot of questions. For the fanboys, like again, how are you gonna re resurrect these people? You know, right. like that that was the biggest thing. Um, I always call the Matrix this, and, and they really went on that fine line of, and, and I can still say that to this day, is this is a science fiction love story? Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Yeah, this is two people that came together and they fell in love, and even in death, and even in mind, you know, there was a lot of uh, Carrie Moss. Keanu Reeves face sucking in the, in the original Matrix trilogy. And it was, especially the second one. So oh, yeah. The second one. The second one when they did the temple scene, there was some nudity in that. There's a lot of face sucking. That's good. Uh, there, was a lot of, there was a time where we had to tell my son, hey, you need to go upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 uh oh. But it's. This movie is. And then just, they got more gorier as they went on, too. You know, with Neo losing his eyes in the third one, but the third one was definitely. Um, I'm not. It's not really gory, but there's a lot of blood and. Do you know what that reminds me when they do um, when they did that that scene with him losing the eyes? Remember Kenshi from Mortal Kombat? Yes, yes. Where he had to blind. Yep. That's what that reminds. He totally reminded me of that too. Yeah. yeah. Um. But that'd be in, cool to see him get a um origin story. That'd be cool just to to have like the Kenshi the win the Mortal Kombat movies. Like I think they're cool. Um, but, hey, HBO um, Max, what's going on with that second one? We got to have The Miz as uh, Johnny Cage. That's just an unspoken rule at this point. <laughs> well, 
Or or John Cena. Uh, I, I'll uh, that. Even though John Cena's a super tool, but... <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen with him uh, being the peacemaker and whatnot, but... Yeah. But I, I, I'll tell you what, happen, though. Man. Keanu Reeves, you can tell. Like, he's definitely was older in this. In this. Um, his moves weren't as crisp as they right. were in the other movies. I can say that. He um, played a lot of uh, Bullet Sponge. I'll tell you right now, who was mad over was was Trinity. Yeah, this Trinity was, was this this was like over. Trinity's story. This is definitely her coming out story. Basically. Yeah, putting Trinity over. Tiffany, come on, Tiffany. I wish you'd stop fucking calling me that. I'm going to be I'm honest. I really keep... thought, though, after watching them all back through again with this on with this movie, uh-huh. there are little breadcrumbs in each movie that that shows you the outcome of what this movie is. Yeah. So there's like like the scene, for instance, when she's like, um, she brings back Neo from the dead, basically, in the first movie. Remember where he's right. like, he gets shot. Like that's that's like a thing. Her interconnection there with him because she was touching him, of course. Her right. interconnection there brought him back. Him touching her to grab the bullet out and then using his hand to basically give an electric charge to her heart and start her heart. Basically, there's a connection in there. Um, they were holding hands in the third touching movie. Touching you. Touching me. <laughs> Sweet Caroline. Caroline. Well, we don't want to get dinged by. We're going to get copyright strikes again. We're such a good singer. Oh, well, no, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they were holding hands when they uh, wrecked into yes. that, into that um, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, that building that Neo first went out in. So there was that. But, she, but again, that was basically the end of her story there. But he kept going. Notice nothing happened to him. Mm-hmm. So there, there is that connection. I mean, we could just call it love if you want to. Or yeah. in the Matrix, they are both the one. True. Because she said that the Oracle told her that whoever she fell in love with would be the one. Right. And so so there has to be a part of her that's the one too. As much as the trilogy movies was more Neo OP, I can see that, that we can have two more of these and this is going to be more Trinity OP. Yeah, you know, but to each his own. That's just how I think. I mean, that's just how I think with this with this mm-hmm. movie. Um, I liked it a lot. I really did. I mean, no, I yeah, watched one this more second the, time. One more thing to discuss would be the. Uh, I think another standout was Bugs. Was the hacker Bugs? And that was uh, Jessica Henwick. She played in Iron Fist. She played in. Um, Love and Monsters, which I want to. I want to review that on the Monday Madness. I've been trying to. Review that for a while now, but it's been escaping me. That uh, movie on Hulu, Love and Monsters. Yeah. Um, she was in Game of Thrones. She was in The Force Awakens, Luke Cage, and um, Blade Runner, Black Lotus. That's another one I want to get into. I want to watch actually watch the original Blade Runner too. I've never seen it. I think those are on HBO Max. If I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. What Blade Runner 2049, and then I think good, the original good. ones are on there too. Good, good, good. So, um. But no, I, I I really like this movie. I I thought this was a perfect. Yeah, I had to the first. I think this was a perfect companion to the first three, and I'm the way it came out. I really hope they have more. Mm -hmm. It just it looks cool. I didn't I didn't super buy into Neil Patrick Harris being a baddie. I did. He did a good job. I thought he did a good job. He did it in in a Neil Pat 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 Patrick Harris's. Mm Heel form, as we can say on the show. Yeah. Um. He he did good. It was very com- it compelled me with it with his with his performance. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's he's, he's kind of a dick. For, for I get it. By all, but, he's right. got that he got that dick vibes going on there. You know. Right. You know, he's kind of an asshole. I understand it. You know, and I and I was I was on board. I really was. I was like, okay, this is cool. He's an right. architect. They didn't say that. They didn't I mean. Say he's- Better than albino that? twins, a little bit more co- intimidating than albino twins. But he's not. You very, like too the much albino more. twins? Like <laughs> that, that was. A, that was a. I remember when they came out. It was fun. We're Nothing being, wrong with them. We are being annoyed now. <laughs> 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 Demeryl Vinji. That's another one we can say who showed up in this movie. Yeah, like some bringing back some old school characters. Uh, Niobe. Bring back yeah, him. Naomi. 
uh, letting us know what happened to um, Morpheus, you know, yeah. his story. The original um, Oracle. Having a new type of Zion. You yeah. Know? I'm, I'm quoting again because, you know, this is basically, she was like, they're, they're, but what's cool is, the one thing I can say about this movie too, another thing I can say is, you didn't see any war. There technically wasn't any war here. It, it, it kind of was a piece. Yeah. So there technically wasn't any war, but you could see some um, uh, behind the scenes type wheeling and dealing to, to try to free people. There was a reason why they free. I, and that's, I mean, if there's anything negative I can say about this movie is why did they wake up Neo? Why? What was the reasoning for them to wake up Neo? Because it went from them waking up Neo to we have to save Trinity and get Trinity out. And then boom, movie scene. That's it. Yeah. There was no plot twist. There was no plot to that to where it was like, why are we waking up Neo? Is it because it, we're, we're trying to, they're, they're, they're starting to gear up to be in a war again? Or right. two sides fighting each other or what? There was no plot twist to it. It was, oh my God, we woke up Neo. Oh wait, Neo still wants Trinity by his side too. So he has to save Trinity because he knows Trinity is being a slave basically. Yeah. So there's all there's there there's that, and to be honest, I hope that we see something different. If there's another one, I want to see more of the story can progress. You know. So did you was, see a little bit of uh, Free Guy in this? <laughs> Where he's well, yeah, I know with the glasses because you know what I mean. It's NPCs can't tell that they're in a, a video game until they put the glasses on. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. It was it was. <laughs> I mean. Yes and no, but all right, right. you have to remember all minds in the matrix. Like my wife was was saying to me um, that what happens when an agent takes over a body? Does that mean that that body that's on the outside in the real world automatically becomes an agent or or what? I was like, no, they, that's probably a death sentence. That's basically yeah, a death sentence. Taking over, yeah. You know, because you have to kill that agent. Once you kill that agent, then that body turns back into that whoever that person was, and yeah. Being, so it's it's a loss that the agents are, are the agents and the machines are willing to take, you know. But yeah, listen, guys, uh, you know if I can tell the nation, dude, just watch this movie. It's good. It's not that bad. It's actually a good companion. What what's funny was what got me put my eyebrow up. It's like you're like, eh, I didn't really like the trilogies, but dude, I kind of like this one. Yeah, you know, and that's, that's like your reaction to it was actually the one I was like, oh wow. He told me it was like, eh, he didn't really yeah, like the I trilogy. Mean, I, did, not... I wasn't, I didn't hate the trilogy. Don't get me wrong. It's like, like I said in the, uh, my review, it's not to take away from its impact on pop culture in general. <laughs> you can't go anywhere without, you know what I mean? Seeing the uh, imprint that the Matrix has left on pop culture. This guy, this guy in particular, like I wanted that phone. That phone that I have where they hit the button and it went, down, I, dude, I wanted that so. That'd bad. be sick. I, I, dude, I saved money, and I was just researching at the time. The internet was still like not a big thing, but right. I, I was researching trying to figure out how I could find that phone because I really wanted that phone. I had a Sony Ericsson. It was kind of like that phone. Oh yeah, I, I remember the Ericssons. I really wanted that phone because it was just cool. Yeah, you know, and and then in the second one, they kind of switched up to something that was just dumb. The phone they had for the second one was not, and they did have a themed phone that they came out with. I think it was a Motorola, but it was horrible and ugly and ugh, just didn't work that well, you know. Yeah, but yeah. that phone that they had there was really cool, you know. And, I can see, that, I can see why they leaned so heavily towards video games in the uh, Resurrections one, though. You know what I mean? Because it's like you, that's our, you, that's you our can't, world. De you can't deny the impact the Matrix had on video games. Well, that's our world right now. Like that that game that, that he he created the, a Matrix video game. That's our world. Our right. world is like that because and and we crave that type of world where it's like we crave a uh, like I know I do. I like being in an MMORPG, for instance, and that's basically what that was. Right, that was an MMORPG. That was a, a, a like ESO, like a Elder Scrolls Online. It was basically right. your. Uh, it was a generated world where, or, or even Grand Theft Auto. Online is a generator world that you can be yourself in, you know. But you're you're being controlled by machines, but you're also playing a story centric type video game, you know. What I'm right. Saying? 
the problem was is that the video game was his memories and that's his actual memories from from when his time being out of the matrix right you know from it being in the old school matrix into the out and into the, this matrix so it's 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 definitely dude and that's what i love about these movies all of them is they make you think they really do they really make that's you for think sure. there was a time dude when i thought i was like man are we in the matrix like is the real world maybe that is maybe it is 2067 whatever you know and and we're yeah. just thinking that it's the year 2021 you know we could be underground in a vault right now exactly fallout baby like that's what i loved about these movies they tranquility made, lane they gave you that thought process you know they gave you that thought process of maybe this is Maybe the world, we're, maybe the world where we have around me is not real, you know. So that's that's beautiful minds, the Wachowski brothers, and uh, L- Lana Wachowski. I think was the I, I was trying to research that, her. Yeah, Lana. Lana Wachowski, correct. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can research her. The, the one behind this one, yeah, because the the other sister wasn't in on this movie. Oh, okay, yeah, the Wachowski, the Wachowskis. Of this. I thought there were brothers. Are there brothers? Oh no, that they had a. Oh, they had a change. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay, but the cool, whatever. I don't care that they had a change. They made they made a very awesome movie, and they made they made an awesome like this universe the the lore behind it. Like I said. I would love to see video games. Like you're talking about that video game that's coming out. I would love to see video games. Yeah, I would love to see video games put down. I I think if freaking this. Cyberpunk was still at its you know playable state, which a year later, and I I tried the prologue and I my fucking computer, my Xbox hard crashed twice during the intro. Like CD Projekt Red, like bro. You put out one of the best games of all time, one of the best series of all time, The Witcher. The Witcher 3 was freaking incredible. Now you put this slop out? That's... Come on, man. And I, I realized with COVID and everything, and, you know, I mean, that had to have been a struggle. And, you know, I mean, I'm not putting anything on the uh, developers and creators and anything like that, but there's no reason for this game to be so unplayable a year later. Right? You're yeah. a CD Projekt Red. You're one of the best video game developers of all time. But yeah, yeah that, that would have been a really good game with some really deep, rich lore. But, you know, and that's the thing that a lot of people would say that who can actually go through and play Cyberpunk. The, the story's incredible. The gameplay yeah. is just, it's riddled with bugs still. <laughs> and Johnny Silverhand is so cool. Like I'm scared you, because they released, um, they, um, Tesla wants to, Elon demoed uh, cyberpunk on the the model s plaid because the model s plaid edition has playstation 5 um it has, pay- mm. it has playstation 5 engine in it basically like it has the basically for their computer system mm-hmm. it, it's pretty powerful like it, it'll it can take the game like they showed somebody actually playing it out of the back seat well i think if you're playing on the next gen system you probably don't have as many problems as ps4 and xbox one do i really can't see the difference that much when it comes sometimes to these games yeah. i mean it's I mean, already on hdr but like I'm i have sure hdr on my better. television right now like i just upgraded my playstation to it today nice because it said oh see we see you have an hdr television Wow, let's upgrade. And I was like, oh, right. cool. So I upgraded my graphics up to that. So I don't know. Nice. You know, I don't know if Xbox does that too or whatever. Yeah. I, ha- I haven't turned on my Xbox in like forever. So, right. <laughs> so like, you know, I, I get, I've been giving my Xbox a break. But getting back to this movie, um, what do you want? What are you saying for a rating for this? Hmm. I'll give it a nine. Yeah. In I'm which. Gonna- I gave that to the series itself. None of the mo- movies got a nine. But yeah. th- this was a good... And I would have to say that the fight scene in this one, the, the, towards the end when, you know, Neo and um, Trinity were on the same page kicking ass towards the end, that was one of the best um, cinematics in the series. Yeah. I think. Maybe the best for me. I don't know 
know if I like the the final scene at all. I, I, I at first I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I like. I, we didn't we didn't really talk about the swarm feature. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I like that. It was it was weird. Kind of like zombies, weird. wouldn't it? Yeah, Agent Smith, by the way, was kind of cool in this. I like yeah. that. It was, I, and I knew that was coming. If you saw the Easter eggs in, in this, you saw that he was definitely going to be like in the beginning of the movie. If you saw like in that in that thing, where he's like uh, millions of people, or did he did the talk? Mm-hmm. If you just caught a glimpse out of your eye when they did a turn of the cam, you saw a picture of Agent Smith taking a punch in the face. Wow! In, in his office, and I'm like. Dude, that's the new that's the new Smith right there, you know. And notice they didn't use the same actor. Would have been cool. I I think it would have been cool to have old Neo and old Smith. <laughs> but the problem yeah. is, is my my wife brought this to my attention. Is they can make Smith whoever he they want to look like because he's not a human. He's just true. A program. True. See, with me, it's like thinky, thinky, thinky. I just like when the bullet time shit comes on and it's com- uh, kung fu and it's like wow, <laughs> you know, fucking punching, kicking, bullet time yeah. ripping. But I'm right there when it comes when it comes to our ratings, I'm right there with you with a 9. I'm, I'm at the 9 to close to 9 5 um, just because I'm a little fanboyish. Yeah. You know? But uh, other than that, I, I really like this movie. I, I, I tell our fans and nation, hey, watch this. Just watch it. For sure. Comment below when when you see us do the, this review that you've seen it. What was your favorite scenes? Do you mm-hmm. think this is great? Can we can we see more of these? Like can the can they can they keep this up and do more Matrix movies? I think they could. I really do, but I, I, it's not sure it's not killing could. the box office like Spider Man is right now. Did you hear about how much money? Spider-Man oh my god! <laughs> Doing gangbusters. Yeah, uh, dude, it was. Um, yeah, and they're like a, isn't it like a billion dollars right now or something? Shit, billion, something like that. I know that, it's man. like a billion dollars. I think and they close. I, I remember I saw Ryan Race. Shout out to Ryan Race, by the way. Yeah, uh, race reels. Race reels. He was on the night saying something about it was like a billion dollars it, it closed at today. Wow. So, and it's like the fastest ever to get there in, in twelve days. So wow. Yeah. So you know, the, it seems like. Sony and Marvel should maybe just be friends. Just be friends and just keep doing this. Friends with the Benedicts. You're making money. Why? Yeah. Why fight? Why fight over? Why be greedy? Come together. Bring your staffs together. Whatever. Make this. Make these films. Yeah, yeah, Sony. I mean, shit. Yeah. You got your MCU Spider-Man as Tom. You can bring back Andrew Garfield. I don't have a problem with that. I think they are. They, I think they are. That's the that's the rumor, but I'm I'm really. I'll wait for that, an actual. Uh, we already know now that they do exist. You know what I mean? They've been in the same universe. Obviously, they can't coexist within the same universe without time and uh, reality itself breaking around them. But yeah. that's not to say we can't see them in their universe again. All, all I know is. We're we're in a, a pinnacle in movies right now where they're going back and they're they're the people who make movies nowadays know what they're doing now. Mm-hmm. Like they know that if we can bring in a little nostalgia with the new, mm-hmm. then we got a hit. You know, and it is the year of the multiverse, and it's just going to keep coming too because twenty twenty two you got two different Batman movies. You know, you got the Batman with Robert Pattinson. You got um. Ben Affleck's going to be in Flashpoint. Michael Keaton's going to be in Flashpoint. Yeah. DC is going to rip the multiverse a new hole. I mean, they're the they're the original they're the originals of, of the multiverse. Elseworlds, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Earths, so, different Earths. Yeah, I mean, they've been doing it. They they already did that in TV shows in the Flash. They started doing the Earths. Yeah, man. Earths, and know. that's another thing that like, you can't touch DC's TV. I, the problem yeah, is, is the, problem, the problem with DC is they're not managed properly. That's the yeah. biggest problem. They're not managed properly. They, they if when they do come out with movies, some of them are bangers, some of them are not. Some of them are, you know, hashtag like, restore the Snyderverse. Like like Shazam, for instance. Yeah. I didn't really like that movie. I thought it wasn't that good. I still haven't seen it. And if it's the same makers are doing black, if it's the same people that do Shazam is going to do Black Adam, I don't know if it's going to be that good. Even if you have The Rock, 
just the rock there alone makes it a banger. So you, you got to make sure you have a good story there. Right, right. You know, I, I, I'm at the point now after reviewing and covering Marvel and DC movies the past couple of years that I, I know what's better. And Marvel is just does it. And I hate to say that because I love the stories of DC. I really mm -hmm. do. The villains are the shit. They're murderous. They're, they're just out there. They're but psychotic. something's just not there. It's just when it comes to people who are behind the scenes with these characters, they don't know how to use them properly. And that's what it just totally frustrates me, frustrates me to the point where I'll, I start making a soapbox. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like Marvel knows what they're doing. It's not that hard. You had Josh Weed in there that did your, that did your Justice yeah. League. Why don't you just take some notes off of him to see how they, he, they do it over there at Marvel? You know? Give us some post credit scenes. Uh, well, now, if you talk to my boy Yaz... He would tell you that they dropped the ball on Taskmaster. He, wow. he was not a fan of the. Ta I see. I like the Taskmaster that was in um, Black Widow, but um, uh, no, he wasn't a wasn't fan a, of her. I wasn't a fan of that. The Taskmaster you have in your see, they don't always, game, they don't always instance, nail it with the characters. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll we'll see. We'll see. I. I it, I'm just at the point now where they could just say, "Yep, yeah, that wasn't the real Taskmaster." You know what I mean? That was. Oh, her an apprentice or something the, the real taskmaster blah, 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 blah. well the marvel has their ones that they know is going to make money spider-man that's that's a bank you know iron man that's a bank thor that's the bank hulk bank hawkeye now is a bank um you know dr strange those are all banks but these other side ones that they're trying to figure out how to bring them all together they have all these characters they're trying to bring them how, how to bring them into one world and it's rough because, you know, you still have the Fantastic Four that you need to put in out there. You still have an X-Men that needs to come into the MCU. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? you well, you got to have Wolverine. That's like the biggest character ever in, in, in there. You That's like the mutant. When you say mutant or X-Men, that's I know the biggest one you think of. I know a couple people from this are, you know, making their uh, appearances known. But you can't let the fucking Defenders right on your face, man. You got to pick them up. That was awesome. Them Netflix series, John Bernthal with as a Punisher. You well, know what I mean? Charlie Cox. Was such a great show. I watched that show. I like that. Iron Fist was kind of cool. Oh, dude, I, I want to see Iron Fist and Shang Ch Shang Chi on screen. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> um, what was what was the, who was the guy that, that played Power Man? Um, mm. What was his name? He was on Netflix. He had his own show. It was a yeah, black yeah, dude yeah. That, played, that played Power Man. Um, but he was cool. Like that was cool. I watched that whole show. That was a very cool show. Yeah, dude. Um, you know, we we you saw Daredevil, a, a TV version of Daredevil, which is kind of cool. Yeah, and the freaking Ben Affleck Daredevil director's cuts on YouTube for free right now. And I bet you, I bet you, dude, I bet you they'll bring, I bet you they bring Daredevil back in a TV show form for Disney. They have Plus. to. It's gonna be comforting for Disney. They haven't announced it. But I guarantee it, it's it's coming. It'll be there. If he was in the Spider, he was in the Spider Man movie. He definitely is coming back. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people are saying that he is coming Fisk back. Was in Hawkeye, yeah, they're, they're saying a lot of it was going to be that. Uh, uh, um, uh, Charlie Cox is going to end up in She Hulk, you know, because of the lawyer versus lawyer thing. Yeah. Now my my thing is okay, but Cox has already been announced. He's already he's already in there. Uh, the guy that played Kingpin already on there. Now me, I I'd have to say, tease us to you know I mean, it, to show a Punisher symbol. You gotta you gotta do the Punisher. You know what I mean? I know Cox is pushing for uh, Burn. I wasn't Ford a to come fan of as Netflix's Punisher. Punisher. Really? Like that one? No, wasn't a big fan. I like the movies; those were good. But I didn't. Yeah. Like, I didn't like. I didn't like. I wasn't a fan of that. I oh, mean, I the one character that we don't have that's a villain that's probably one of the most ruthless and powerful ones is Doom. Where's Doctor Doom? Yeah, where is Doctor Doom? You gotta have Doctor Doom in there. Like that is a the Fantastic Four is is definitely a a group, and, and Doctor Doom is a group that's definitely infused in the comic book canon. Well, absolutely, yeah. Hardcore. When Spider Man gets a symbiote suit, he's on a ship with the Fantastic Four. Yeah. That's well, where I mean, he gets it. Take a look. I mean, Infinity War, Civil War, you know what I I'm mean? I'm wondering if that's what's going to come pop up. You glaze over the fact that 
uh, hello, the Fantastic Four was an integral part of all those wars, but they weren't there on in the cinematic universe. I mean, we're getting a movie for it. they have. They have announced that they're doing another movie, fucking but... uh, uh, um prologue movie, right? I hope not. Hopefully, another they, they just do just like. Uh -huh. Hopefully, they do just like uh, Spider Man and say, you know what? We already know. We already know the origins of the Fantastic Four. Here they are. Boom, bang. I'm wondering, though, if they're going to piggyback the movie that actually is on Disney+. Plus. That's fantastic. Well, no, all the fifth Fantastic Fours are on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the fan Fantastic Fours are on there. I, I wonder, since we're doing a multiverse type thing, that if they're going to do something like that, where they're just they're going to create a new multiverse. They have to. In this MCU that we have now, the Iron Man's and Avengers, you know, not, not, <laughs> not the band. Right, right, right. He was in a band? He was in a band? <laughs> great scene <laughs> that was a great scene but, um like you know i wonder how they're uh, th these are things that, that i think about when it comes to the mcu mm -hmm. um you know Wait. I, I get what they're trying to do they're really trying to compress that world into one mm -hmm. and, and make all their characters into one i mean I, at this point you already mean with this a cinematic universe you already have universes within universes so it's not too far of a stretch to say oh you know what i mean multiverses and it's not with story, Cinematic universe. It's not with story though. It's with companies. It's about money. It's about Sony owns a lot of their properties because you know Marvel, when they were going broke, they sold a lot of their properties out the different way. That's right. Why, that's why you don't see a lot of Hulk shit because they're owned by I think Paramount. I think I don't know. I think Hulk's owned by Paramount. It's a different company than Sony, but Sony owns a lot of Marvel properties too, like Morbius and. You know, Venom and uh, Spider-Man. I mean, like, the, the, the politics behind it don't impress me much. But I'm just saying, I'm problem. just so excited that's the biggest with the problem. fact that the, these universes are here. So. Oh, yeah. It was exciting. It was refreshing to see in Spider-Man to see what they did there. Yeah. With bringing a Sony-verse to the MCU. Right. I thought that was kind of cool. Because you saw the Sony characters come right over the MCU. Not, yeah, they, they already have access to these properties do something with them and i'm wondering if they're gonna i mean as much i mean a billion dollars dude they have they have to they have to say oh, there's definitely going to be more than one spider-man they were able to pay all their actors probably in bank for sure you know i mean i don't know what the what the production uh, i i should look that up and see what, how much it costs to make that film but a couple hundred million i would imagine I mean, if it's a couple hundred million you still made bank yeah, Jeff Bezos, we did that math the other day. He has like $250 billion. He has enough money to give everybody $1 billion and still be a billionaire. Wow. I also th We also talked about, too, with my wife, we had this conversation of, why do we need to, why do actors need to be paid millions of dollars? Yeah. Like, why do you need 20 to $30 million per per picture? What are you doing differently than any... I mean, granted, you went to school and stuff like that, and I get that, you know. Right. I mean, it's, it's no different than somebody going to school and have a profession. But, like, you're a British person, like, say, for instance, Tom Holland, who can change his voice and make him sound like he's a New York kid. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But that's not a ton of effort. It's some effort, but it's not a ton of effort. Why do you need to be paid? It's not $30 million paid, you know? I mean, I, I think that I think the one thing that we talk about in this country is we don't need to have billionaires, and we've really went over that hardcore. Like we have billionaires now. Like it's not a before it used to be like you know we had like one billionaire or Oprah. You know we were Oprah rich. Now people right. are, are surpassing Oprah. Like you know you don't need. I mean, Jeff Bezos could give everybody. Think about it. You get a check in the mail from Jeff Bezos that says one billion dollars. Everybody could survive off of that. There's an equation that's not panning out into our reality. We got a lot of billionaires, but no Playboy vigilantes. What the fuck are you guys doing? No Batman. You're you're a billionaire. You're telling me where where's your fancy suit? No Iron Man. No Batman. Get out of here. Come on now. That's what we have. We have a, we have too many billionaires and not enough vigilantes. Vigilantes. Playboy vigilantes. Don't say that because you have people oh, rise, yeah. 
Rise Against the Machine. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Matrix, Rise Against, Rise Against the Machine. And you know what's funny? The song that was in the first um, movie, mm -hmm. the band was Rise Against the Machine. Yeah. <laughs> so get it, get the premise of this, Rise Against the Machine. So, yes, sir, there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's get the promotions. Let's let's. I was more of a Terminator up. guy. I'm gonna tell we're you. We're like that much. we're like an hour and thirty minutes in. Let's talk about promotions. Who are you promoting yeah, this tonight? Is... You go first. I got. Let me think of it. Let me think of what I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna again. I don't really have anybody. Um, but um, I will promote us again, and I'm gonna promote the listener and viewer. Um, for you guys. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching us. Thanks for listening to us. We've gained a lot in the past six months, which is fantastic. With the help of the Duke, the Duke has been very big on that with his much appreciated. edits and stuff like that. And, uh, and if there's anything I can say I'm thankful for, I am thankful for him. I am definitely thankful for the Duke for coming on, uh, just doing this and us just basically res we're resurrecting ourselves into better yeah, people, us, really. better people as, as creators. And just, you know, we've become pretty good friends. I mean, me and him chat yeah, like almost every day. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. And he's the stupidest shit. Like, yo, I just saw this on YouTube. What do you think of this? You know? Right. <laughs> I mean, and it's funny because, you know, if you would have asked us three years ago, we didn't even know each other that well. Right. And now, like, you yeah. know, you know, now we're, we're pretty good friends. And he's done a really yes, good sir. job here at Wicked Turtle. You know, he's doing fantastic fantastic work with the dive his production value has gone up the yeah man. you know the monday madness is going up and i just think that the future just is just looks bright you know with with you and with wicked turtle and i i, th I hate I think, to call it but i think 2022 is the year of the turtle definitely I, th I would have to say it's a year of the turtle you know i mean it's for sure man i mean it's we're doing well. Like we're doing really well. Our views are going up, dude. Our Spider-Man video. I have to say thank you for everybody that has watched yes. the Spider-Man video. It is probably one of the best viewed um, videos that we've done for What Up Peeps. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. And we are now reaching over 400 views on. It. I know a lot of people say that's not really that much, but for us, that's 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 for an small accomplishment time creators. For us. You know what I mean? We that's not an accomplishment. People, we don't get thousands of views. You know what I mean? We have Average two to three hundred views uh, uh, per video, and and that's there. excellent for creators of our size. Yeah, and me and me and the Duke are taking time and really putting in and polishing our 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 our, our awesome looking content that we have. We polish it a lot with either the fifteen second videos we put up, or mm -hmm. you know having a nice uh, having a nice thumbnail or something like that. And it does take time and it does take money. Like it's you know, I and we got to feed them algorithms. You know what I mean? Yeah. By excuse me, by uh, uploading continuously, you know what I mean, at least two to three times a week, we feed them algorithms too, and we're seeing it. Excuse me, on YouTube, we're finally seeing some views on that side too. It's going up, and 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 actually here on Facebook, on, on Facebook too, we've been doing really yeah. well on Facebook. Um, Super but well on Facebook. The sky's the limit for us, and and I think we're gonna do good, and we're doing it the right way. We're not doing it with you know, backdoor deals or anything like that. We're doing it as just two responsible human beings right. making content, you know, and we're very responsible. We're very cool. And we're very like, uh, we, we, we love hearing feedback from the viewers and the listeners. So if yes, you are sir. listening to us, please hit the, hit us in the comments there. You will see us. We'll be in there. We're always, we're always in there. I always check, check them us every morning. I always check wicked turtles. So if you guys, you know, if, if you want to send us a message, if you want to just say, yo, man, that last video you had, man, that was slamming. I agree with you on that, on that, or whatever. You know, just you know. And we and we take the criticism, and do you know what I mean? We uh, uh, we learn from what you're telling us because we even had a situation. You know, somebody let us know, hey, man, your intro was way too long. It's too long to get into the to the video, and we're. Hey, we buttoned that up, didn't we? I made the adjustments to say, okay, yeah, you're right. You know, sitting there, what, listening through our, I mean, we should be catering. I mean, myself, I'm thinking to myself, we should be catering to our sponsors. But, sure. I mean, if it helps make the the video more palatable, then yes. So yeah. my, my shout out is the Wicked Turtle Nation. 
I'll put the group in there, which was really hard to put the group in the last time. Again, Facebook keeps changing things left and right. Yeah. That's... But, um, yeah. They don't uh, like groups for some reason. Yeah, for man. some reason. I don't know. They, they, they change. They say, here, latch on to groups. Yay. Oh, hey, here, here, do video games. Here, do that. And then they change everything yeah. up and mix it around. And it makes me all freaking mad. You know? And it's like, yeah. crazy. Yeah. And so it's like, oh, man. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, we'll put, I'm going to say the group. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that and say happy holidays to everybody. Uh, happy New Year to everybody. Um, I, ho- I hope it's a very safe New Year. Please be safe out there. We all know that the vet is out there just trying to get us. But uh, be safe. Um, I mean, I, I always tell people, I-, I don't like to be too political on here, but I always tell people, like, you know, and I know a lot of people will probably get pissy about this, but, you know, try to get vaccinated if you can. It's your choice. It's like I'll, I'll mm-hmm. give you the same advice I give I give my son. If you want to get vaccinated, it's your choice. Make the choice. Yep. If not, okay, cool. Mask up. Whatever. Do what you need to do. You know what I mean. That's that's, that's your thing. You know that. If Don't you go out to, when you're sick. It's simple. That it's that right there. I would have never got COVID if somebody would have just stayed home. Mm-hmm. If you'd have just stayed home when you're sick, I would have never got COVID. But uh, I also tell you guys to check out our link tree. It's uh it's it's in the description of the cast. Go ahead and check that out. Um, linktr.ee backslash Wicked Turtle Network. I'm good at that yet. So uh, I think it's stored. Isn't it store slash Wicked Turtle? Well, I, I think that's know. our store. Yeah. The, the oh, that's the store. Trees. Yeah, you're right. The link tree. Yeah. But uh, we're also on Instagram. You'll see our Instagram stuff on there. Facebook, TikTok. You even see this show. You can actually follow this show straight from the link tree. There, are, all the links are on there. Oh, that's makes- another thing. We're gonna have some more, uh, you know, merchandise this year too. I'm actually looking into maybe uh, getting into T Public to where we can. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll do T Pub. I'm I'm gonna try to work T Public this way. We can get those prices down so people can buy our merch and it's more affordable. Yeah. I know twenty dollars is a, is pretty hard with shipping. That's a lot of money. I know the Duke said that's kind of on par with with T-shirts, but you got to. Yeah, gotta, that, that's the going price. I mean, it's not like. With peace and love, it's not like Teddy Fresh charging a hundred dollars for a color block hoodie. Over a hundred dollars plus shipping. It's like, well, I want one so bad, but it's like Jesus Christ, I'd have to go donate plasma just to afford it. Well, and then when it's you, like, I'm an yeah. adult, so it's like, if I put a hundred dollars towards a hoodie, I feel like a piece of shit. It's like I could have put that towards other more adult things. I was looking at some prices and some other people's stuff, and it was like. Fifty dollars, like yeah. ninety nine dollars. I'm like, wow, this is a lot for merch. I thought like uh, spending twenty five plus on merch was like, ooh, that's gonna bite me in the ass. Like yeah, when I see other people yeah. with a like, hundred dollar merch and shit like that. Like, but uh, damn, I, I don't even spend that much on Tommy Hill figure. I tell everybody though, check us out on Instagram. Uh, TikTok yeah. is TikToks are gonna start coming here soon in the new year. Uh, we're gonna start working on those. Um, definitely Twitter. I'll tell you yep. right now, Instagram and Twitter is the Duke's domain. He's the one who puts up our 15-second videos or will put up something cool to talk about. Or... I've been laxing on that lately, but uh, the past couple of weeks I've been head, in, head over heels into it. So, yeah, well, you're... Good. check me out and leave me a comment. And You're going to see Wicked know. Turtle go full steam here in the new year. Um, the beginning of the year, I got – again, I'm starting my diet regimen back. We're going to see Fixing the Penguins coming back. Um, Spotlight. You'll, you'll see. You'll see those spotlight. I'm going to try to work on that. Um, now that I got a decent processing power, you're definitely going to see some videos pop out of here. I'm also going to be working on intros, graphical stuff, mm-hmm. stuff like that. I'm going to be teaching myself, trying to self-teach myself to do graphical stuff and stuff like that. But you're definitely going to see Wicked Turtle start making that edge and smoothing things out. And everything's going to start looking very, very, very professional, super professional than what we were in the past. Mm-hmm. So, but, uh, with, so, me yeah. Duke, with me and the Duke here, I, I think we could we can go higher. If anybody oh, else sure. wants to join up, uh, message us. We can try to figure out a show that you want to do. If you're into sports, we, we need sports. We need somebody to cover music. Um, I would definitely love to, to hop on. and I mean, I would definitely help out with, with sports. I'm sure the Duke would help out with music. He likes Duke, he likes music. Yeah, for sure. But sports, for instance, like I love talking about sports. I could talk about sports all day. I'm a sports junkie. I've been so. teasing it for a while here. Uh, you know, uh, after the New Year's, and you know, 
everybody gets settled. We will have uh, Coach Calvin joining me with on the Duke's dive. I don't know in what capacity. Uh, you know, whatever's comfortable, more comfortable for him. But he's definitely down. So he wants to cover NXT. I'd like to, you know, get him on there. Maybe he'd cover NXT and NXT UK. Because yeah. I don't, I don't watch this. It's the, it's a hell of a lot of stuff to watch, man. Like. If I watched all the wrestling I need to watch to watch all the wrestling, I'd literally have a screen running video, I mean, running wrestling all day long, you know? Yeah. I, I, I'd literally be watching nothing but wrestling until the moment I woke up to the moment I closed my peepers. Like, it's, it's too much. It's too, too much. So, yeah. anyway, my, my shout-outs are, you know, is the same as yours, but I'm going to take a minute to take a second to say, uh, you know, I uh, heard about the passing of... Marcus Crane, a notable deathmatch guy, real young guy, 32 years old, passed away. He was dealing with some really uh, gnarly medical stuff. And, um, you know, I mean, just to, I want to respect the privacy of his family and stuff like that. I don't know what, I just know that he passed away. And, you know what I mean? It's, it's a miserable thing. And for somebody to die that young, and <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to take a second to wish condolences and say, um, there's some merchandise and stuff like that coming, but you know, right now the t the family's taking the you know their their much needed time to grieve and stuff like that. But they're gonna there's gonna be you know he had a his own cartel store for merchandise. He had bed sheets, hoodies, pants. He was a merchandise machine, man. He was, he really was. And uh, there's other people involved with the stuff too, but yeah. That's cool. that. Yeah, you know, that's my shout out. Yeah, he was I, a really nice dude. I, I I got to speak with him a couple of different times on Facebook, it's like that. He was a really cool dude. Like I said, um, my thing is like I, I mean, give him a shout out to Week Two Nation. But mm -hmm. my thing is, I, I really want to thank everybody for sticking with me. Yeah, I went through a rough time this year. I mean, I had to, you know, basically the kilowatt. He just, you know, up and. He quit, and like it, it was a lot for me to process because I started this with him, and it was it was a big journey. It really was because it really it went for me for saying to him, "No, I don't have time for this." To to now, it's part of my life, right? And, and it's you know it's it's been a thing for me, and I, I rep it every day. I rep Wicked Turtle every day. I talk about Wicked Turtle. I have colors that you know. I have I just have a picture of uh, I didn't post. I think I'm probably posting on Instagram of me standing at, at, at by the Wicked Turtle um, tree where they had purple and green colors and stuff. My son Hell is yeah, involved. Dude. My son is involved with Wicked Turtle. My, you know, now we have the Duke. You know, and just you know, reckon recognizations that I get in in the, in the community from people saying, "Oh, I know you. You're the Penguin. You review like food and stuff because they watch Penguin Eats." Hell yeah, dude. So like. <clears throat> or, you know, I, I'm now, I know people from like my local pizza shop down here. They know me by my first That's name awesome. and stuff. And, you know, so I just, I just want to say thank you for everyone for, for, for sticking with me. Cause it, we'll it, stick with you. Us guys here, these two, we're the, we're heroes in half show, man. It was, it, it was strong. It was a struggle. It really was. I had a lot of, a lot of things I had to surpass in my mind and get over with. And I can tell everybody that I'm 100% now at the pinnacle of, of that. I'm, I'm, my mind is right now. I'm ready to get my, my, now I'm ready to get my, my physicality of my life now done. I, I need to transform this body and from a very large lovable man into a not so large lovable man. So I, I spoke to you. <laughs> we think, I think we should do the DDP yoga together, man. Cool. I have DDP yoga. I've, have never unwrapped it i have the oh videos. shit you have it i, I have, have every single it. video so if you had if you had a way to for, for for you to download it i have every single video i could probably share it to yeah. but uh I, th I think we should uh, definitely do that i mean like i told you i said you know shit maybe even dvdp would reach out to us you know you reached out to bookie 2988 i'm doing a calorie day. count uh type diet here in the new year for, for for fixing the penguin i just talked to my doctor today um so i I guess I'm going to be in contact with a nutritionist soon. Good and, stuff. Uh, I think that's what helped me a lot. Being doing the nutritionist, you know, getting a, on a vitamin regimen and uh, journaling my food. You know, making it myself accountable for the things that's making that I'm a comeback. At. I'm doing that. I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to do a journal. Uh, oh, and I know it's a pain in the ass to do, but you know, it my keeps you accountable. Problem. It keeps you, you. Yeah. Yep. It keeps you accountable for the things you're putting in. 
Yeah. So that's that's basically what I'm going to do. Yeah, because it, it it shows me what's left for me to eat for the day, and then once I hit that goal, it's a cutoff. We're done. Right. You know, I'm not going to go super heavy. I went super heavy in the past when diets where it was like, all right, well, I'm going to do like, you know, keto with zero carbs, and next thing I know, I'm screwed. You know? Yeah, that's the keto one seems super hard. Because I'm like you, I I like my Italian foods and stuff like yep. that. Like, I the like pastas. my spaghettis. You know, I, I like a good bread. You know, I like a good sandwich from Wegmans when I get that that Duke special. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I just seen Daniel Garcia was on the keto diet. They were trying to feed him broccoli. He couldn't have broccoli. I'm like, dude, you already built like a brick shit house. You can eat a piece of broccoli. Yeah, there's people out there that are, that are not physically like like me, for instance. Like I'm 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 a pretty big dude. Like I'm like 320 pushing hard. I'm and pasty it, and doughy. Like that and, dude's and it built sucks. like a, that dude's built like a brick shit house. He can eat. You know, little Debbie, little Debbie, you know, tree cakes and nutty buddies. That's fine. My know? thing is, I, is I need to get off the sugars. That's my biggest thing is get off the sugars. And the uh, sodas are the biggest thing for me. I don't drink soda anymore like I used to. I mean, I'll have one here or there as as mm -hmm. to, to crave my diabetic sweetness. That's yeah. the biggest thing is is my my diabetes. The cravings I get from that is just. I mean, I don't know if you know anybody that has diabetes, but. It is, well, my mother had diabetes. I was pre-diabetic. Yeah, it's the my cravings grandfather. for sugar is amazing. Like it, uh, every time, like it just right now, I'm thinking about the candy. It's in the fridge right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a thing. And you know, I, I try to discuss this with doctors, and sometimes doctors don't. Uh, they think I'm full of shit, and I'm like, no. There, there's times that I have cravings to the point where it hurts. Yeah, like I, if I don't do it, like. I gotta go to bed. Gotta go take a nap. Like, like right now, it's it's we're we're at twelve a.m. right now. I kind of want to go down and take a sam and eat a sandwich. Right. You know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's just like how I feel, and that's just how I am, and it's just like. Well, it, you know, the biggest life philosophy that I had to tuck behind my ear was live. Don't you you don't live to eat. You eat to live. You know what I mean. That's what I need. That's the philosophy I need to get to. That this is not. This, I don't need that. That's just fuel for the day. Mm -hmm. That's it. And and another thing that helped me out when I needed to lose a certain amount of weight to get to the gastric was um, don't eat in front of the TV. <laughs> eat at the dinner table only. Well, the TV. You know I mean? I, I've noticed that in the past five years, the TV has evolved not just to a television too, but to this. Yep. That, that's your new TV. Yep. And I, I do. I sit in front of that a lot. Like, I'll sit in my table and we'll have our meals and I will put on YouTube and eat while I'm watching YouTube. Yeah. You know, that's just we, how we, we tend to graze when, we, when we're when we behind yeah. the screen watching the screen. We yeah. tend to, you know, like popcorn and whatever, whatever. And then something that another good thing is, you know, after every video, get up, stretch. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, do a couple little calisthenic or whatever I can't, back. I can't stress stretching as much as anything in this world because now that i have this shoulder thing i wish i would have done it more because yeah. that's the reason this has been stationary for such it's not my strong arm this is my strong arm here this is not my strong arm so i don't use this arm as much as what i used to what i, what I do to use this one right so i can't stress anymore of doing that because Dude, this for the shoulder thing and no joke I, it's it, I I, bet, it i've had to remix how i how i sleep like, I either have to sleep, and it's what sucks is because your subconscious, when you're sleeping, should be just about sleep. That's it. Right. Me, when I sleep, I think when I sleep. My brain's still firing that, okay, I need cannot go into this shoulder, so let right. me try to go into my back. I had to learn how to sleep on my back. I had to learn how to sleep on here. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's tough. It really is, and the weight—it's—it's it's the diabetes and the weight that—that's—that's that's killing me slowly. You know, I just had a—I just had—I wouldn't say she's a friend, but I just know a person I know, an acquaintance. She uh, she passed away today, and it's probably from that. It's from it, it's from her. Type. She's she had type one though. Yeah, that's so she she was born with it, but sad. But I don't want to end on a bad note. I want to do one and end on a good note. You guys, I just my my thoughts and my thoughts and everything was with everybody here on the mm -hmm. network. Thank you. 
thank you for watching us. And again, we will uh, we'll see you next year, man. We'll see you next year. We, we probably won't have a show for uh, uh, for a couple weeks, but we because the, the, the Duke's birthday is coming up, so we got to celebrate yeah. that. But um, after that, we're gonna have we'll have a show for you guys for what up peeps and and we'll you know. take a little bit of time to you know accumulate things, and we're gonna do a uh, best of the year too. So yeah, I'll our do. our award show is coming out. I'll I'll announce that right here. I will be giving away awards on the uh, Duke's Dive the first ever year. I will be giving away Dukies. Maybe <laughs> you heard it here. I will be doing the Dukies. Yes, I love it. I love it. I will be doing the Dukies. A dookie. You I'm get a Dukie. Dookie. You get a Dukie. Everybody gets like, a Dukie. It sounds like shit. That's right. <laughs> I love it. That's right. I love it. I love it. See, this is the kind. Of, this is why I say to everybody: subscribe to us, man. This is the type of content you get. You get cool, funny guys that, that just want to. They just make. We make content. I just want to make fun. people laugh, man. Yeah. We, we don't take just... this shit that too serious. Like we. This isn't like for me. I. I, I wish. I wish. I'm like do the do the same way. I wish we could make this our full time job, and and we would do yeah. this every day. That'd be freaking awesome. I wish I had the brain Eric Voss has, you know, to pick up all these little Easter eggs from all these movies. It's like, that's too much. I want to be a new rock star. That. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's, that's what I'm saying. This is the type of shit you get dookie and the Oscars. That's right. And when I say Oscars, the Oscars is not the Oscar you think of. It's Oscar, it's the Oscar the Grouch Award. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I wish I had actually had a physical one. It's it, It'll be a digital one. You guys will see it. We'll, we'll uh, have to have someone uh, 3D print us one of them. Oh, I would do. I, I think that's what I'm asking for for Christmas next year. I think I'll want to Oh, dude. Aren't, ain't them things awesome? I've been the, seeing. They're cool. And My buddy Seth Briggs, he, he printed a small pop funk, and then he printed like one that took like 200 hours and was like one of the major huge pop funk vinyls. I saw one that you can get for like 150 bucks, and, and the guy who does it, like he does TikToks. He yeah. said this is like the best one. He said this is. He said to be honest, it's like my go-to. It's even better than my twelve hundred dollar one that I have. Wow, like one hundred and fifty bucks. I'm like, damn, I can afford that. I could totally get one of those. So maybe right. next year for Christmas, that's exactly what I'm going to ask for. Did you print it? <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's wrap it up. Hey, like then said, the, we'd have Penguin and Duke pop vinyls. That'd be I'm cool. I'm down. I'm down. But let's let's, so end, cool. let's end this show. Yeah. Let's new New Year, happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next Have year. Have a happy new year. It's your boy the penguin. It's the Duke. And that's what's up. Blah blam. Blah blam. Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Turtle Network Exclusive. Follow us on all social media and also click the link tree in the description of this video. I also would like to take the time right now and welcome us as a brand new ambassador to raise energy drinks wicked turtle has joined the hashtag raise rebellion with raise energy drinks raise energy drinks gives you fresh which stands for focus recovery energy stamina and hydration with giving you no crash raise has zero sugar with electrolytes and bcaa aminos so hashtag raise up and go to your local GNC or vitamin shop and pick up a can or go to repsports.com and order your raise energy drinks and other athletic supplements in bulk and type in order code wicked turtle for 15% off your order and that code will be in the description of this video.